After careful deliberation, I have decided that the United States should take military action against Syrian regime targets. Before launching military action, American presidents generally hope to draw support from three places, Congress, the American people, and allies abroad. In the case of a possible military strike in Syria, support appears to be in short supply. Recent polls indicate that a majority of the American public does not support military action against Syria. Similar polls showed greater support for the intervention in Libya in 2011 and for the invasion of Iraq in 2003. Mr. Obama faced criticism from some lawmakers that he didn't adequately consult Congress before committing American troops to the battle in Libya. And when he was a senator, Mr. Obama himself was a vocal critic of military involvement in Iraq. This is not America. This is not who we are. It's time for us to stand up and tell George Bush that the government in this country is not based on the whims of one person. The government is of the people, by the people, and for the people. Though he has now called on Congress to authorize a limited strike in Syria, he still appears to lack the broad support of international allies. So the no's have it, the no's have it. Unlock! Last week, even the British Parliament voted against taking military action. The administration argues that the atrocities in Syria are so grave that the United States and the international community must act. Instead of uh, being tucked safely in their beds at home, we saw rows of children lying side by side, sprawled on a hospital floor, all of them dead from Assad's gas, and surrounded by parents and grandparents who had suffered the same fate. We would not put boots on the ground. Instead, our action would be designed to be limited in duration and scope. Lawmakers are set to take up the issue when Congress returns to Washington on September 9th.